Alright, I'm back and uh, now let's do the boy picture, shall we? We have it here. Alright. So this is what it looks like when you just open it. And you can see that his face is not really a very pleasant color, so we need to find a way to get, get it more correct. First of all, I can see that the white balance is in sunlight. The boy isn't in the sunlight actually, he is in the shade. So let's change that. Okay, that was the first move. Now, the second part is to find somewhere on the picture where you have gray, something that's gray or white. It could be this one, because I know that that's the plastic share in the background, and it's uh, likely to be correct if I press it. And you can see, already the picture looks much, much better. You could also try to find something like in the eye. Oh, it's uh, more or less... Uh, about the same effect. Mm -hmm. Let's keep it there and we can also move it back slightly here. I think that's okay. But the, the picture is also a little bit underexposed right now. I think the exposure leans towards the black and the dark part, so I think I will push it a little bit upwards. Yeah, something like this is better. How do you think? Perhaps give it a little bit of slight magenta because faces, you know, it looks better with a little slight magenta here. And uh, if you want to, you can also bring a little bit of saturation and other things, but I don't think that's necessary in this case. You can also now zoom in to see, and I just want to show you, brag a little bit about the qualities here. This is the 120 to 300 lens from Sigma. I mean, it's a very costly lens, but man, is it good. It gives such nice sharpness and the bokeh, the background is just beautiful. Alright, but look at these eyelashes. Mmm, nice. You can cut yourself on them. Okay, so let's save this one as well. And we use sRGB as normal. And we have the saved here in the settings. So I can come back and deal with this later without having to redo everything from the beginning. And we press save. And look, now we have a nice series here of pictures. Alright, in the next video I will go through these four pictures in a really fast manner because they don't really need a lot of work, but small touches here and there will bring them to better life. Alright, so see you soon.